Hi guys, Massman here, back with a new video, and today what I'm going to be showing you is a trick to see if a number is in the seven times table. So I'm going to be showing you uh, the divisibility rule for the seven times table. So here I have a number which is 182. Now, I don't know my seven times table up to 182, so I don't know if that number is in the seven times table or not. But luckily for me, I know a rule so I can check. Now here's what the rule is. There's three parts to it. You've got to double the last digit. You've got to subtract that last digit after you've doubled it from the other digits. And then you've got to see if what you're left with is divisible by 7 or is it a 0. So let me show you how that plays out in real life. So first step, double the last digit. So let me just do that. So the last digit is 2. I'm going to double it. And that will give me 4. So I've done that first step. Second step, subtract whatever I just did from the other digits. So the other digits is 8. 18, sorry. Then I take away what I did before. So 18 take away 4 equals 14. And so I've done, I've done the second step there. And the third step is, is the number that I'm left with, is it divisible by 7 or is it a 0? Well, I know that 14 is in the 7 times table. So I know that 182 is in the 7 times table. Let's do another example. Step 1, double the last digit. So double one is two. Take the rest of the digits and take away the number that I I doubled. And that was two. So 44 take away two equals 42. I know that 42 is in the seven times table. So 441 is in the seven times table. Now let's look at a four digit example here. I still follow the same three steps. So take the last digit and double it. So double six is 12. Take the rest of the digits. So one, three, eight. Take away 12. Gives me 126. Now, I don't know if 126 is in the 7 times table because I don't know my 7 times table up to 126. So what I do is I just follow the same process again with that number. So I double the 6 and that gives me 12. I take the rest of the digits which is 12. So 12 take away 12 leaves me with a 0. And if you remembered in the first part of the video, if the number ends with 0, then it means it is in the 7 times table. Now, this is the only example in my video today that is not in the 7 times table. And let's see what happens to numbers which are not in the 7 times table. So I follow the same steps, double 5 gives me 10. The rest of the digits are 117. Take away 10 equals 107. So again, my 7 times table does not go up to 107 in my head. So I take that number and I just repeat the three steps. So double 7 is 14 and 10 are my remaining digits. So 10 take away 14 actually gives me a negative number. So I know that's not in the 7 times table. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did and you'd like some more um, free maths videos, then please hit the subscribe button. I'm actually going to be making a series um, in the coming weeks that's going to show you the divisibility rules for 3, 6, 9, 
8 and 4. So be sure to uh, check those out when they come online. Thanks again for watching.